Hi guys, just a little how to on KeyCAD. Um, one of the features that's been missing from KeyCAD for a while now is the ability to sort of press the mouse wheel button and click drag if you like. Um, I came from a background of uh, Proteus Needle, um, all of which you just sort of press on the buttons to sort of drag the schematic or the layout around the screen. Um, KeyCAD for a while didn't have this uh, feature. Um, and some people who've downloaded the, the newer version um, I'm running 31st of 2013 BZR4019 stable um, but some people that have got the later versions um, don't know how to do it um, so if I load up the schematic quickly I'll say quickly, Harmony Virtual Machine incidentally um, this is one of the features when I first started using KeyCap that I really missed um, on a desktop machine. Um, this example has been run on the virtual machine which is run on my laptop so I don't have a square wheel button on that one but um, anyway, if we go to preferences and options um, you'll see we've got the, the general options of the units and the grid size etc. Um, one of the options is use middle mouse button to pan um, I believe on most mics, I think you can set this up in Windows. Um, generally, the scroll wheel has got a button built into it, um, and you can use that for the middle mouse button. But um, yeah, you just check that. Uh, you can also limit the pan to the scroll size. So if you scrolled in, you can limit how it's how far it pans. Uh, okay, so that's the schematic. Uh, window. If we go into the PCB layout window, and then, again, this is running on a virtual machine, so it's extremely slow. By the way, I do plan on posting a few more uh, tutorials on the beginnings if you like of KeyCAD and what all the, the files are and how you can go about creating various different bits and stuff. Um, yeah. This is because they don't update their examples and uh, they update the version. It just basically means that once you've saved it in a new version there may be some newer features that you can't go back to on an older version. Um, so anyway, under here we go to preferences and general, I don't know why they thought it's something different and over here under the pan and zoom title there's a use middle mouse button to pan and again we've got the limit panning to scroll size um, so that's pretty much um, how you do it um, I mean, what I do at the moment is I have to press the sort of F4 button and that will allow me to sort of refresh where it is, there's no sort of option on a mouse unless you use an external. Uh, sorry, not option on the laptop unless you use an external mouse. Um, one of the things that they could have probably done, um, which would have made it a little bit sort of easier, was to rather than specifying the middle mouse button, maybe say, well, if you hold and drag, like shifting the button or control and right right click um, you know sort of to customize the features a bit better um, but um, don't know if they haven't they may change it in the future um, much like I wish they changed the way this frame works um, at the moment you can't remove the frame it's, uh, it's a bit annoying really but um, but there you go okay well and anyway, that's just a little sort of quick sort of how to for people that didn't know. Um I'm not sure exactly which version they started allowing this in. Um which version they added the feature to. Um certain the last two or three versions. Um but uh, if you download the, the new version today, um, you'll have as of this video, thirty first of the fifth, two thousand and thirteen. Um okay guys, well thanks for watching. See you next time.